Good morning. Today we're going pig hunting. I suppose I better get my sorry ass out of bed. Morning, Pace. You can sleep, mate. Hmm? You can sleep. Me? Fucking Roger, dude. Let's go kill some shit, man. You reckon there's a mouse in this morning? Oh, there sure is. That's right, buddy. Time to do some uh, mouse killing, eh? Come on. Let's go. Somebody suggested I drown these guys, but uh, nah. I don't have the heart to drown stuff. It's too slow. Plus, it's not much fun for old Pace, is it? Morning, Super Duck. Nothing to see here, Super Duck. Move along. Nothing to see, mate. Nothing to see. Your wing's looking a bit sad, mate. You alright? Your boyfriend looks like he's got a dropped wing. Yeah, you know what time it is, don't you, Pace? Okay, we'll see if we can do this one without stuffing it up, eh? Hmm? Fucking horse, man. Oh, you gonna kill it? Oh, you gonna kill it? Oh, you gonna have it, man? Oh, you gonna kill that mouse? Oh, yes, oh, you fuck it. Oh, you gonna... Just relax here, Pace. He's <laughs> <laughs> standing on his feet. Have a little bastard. Well, the mouse has gone inside the actual trap part of it. Hmm. Leave it, Pace. Leave it. There you go. Leave it. Leave it, Pace. I haven't got the bloody top off yet. Wait. Wait. You got it. They don't get away these times, do they? Good boy. And that's the mouse dead instantly. You have a bit of peanut butter too. Here you go. Right, well, we're supposed to be going pig hunting, but I'm mucking around this morning. As you can see, it's quite late. Normally be in the bush, but it was pissing down with rain. I said to the boys, hey, we'll have a late start tomorrow because I don't want to be driving around the forestry. I thought it would be raining till later, but it's actually stopped, so we could have been up there, but we're not. It's been a while, hasn't it? Listen to him. Yeah, we're not even there yet, mate. We're still just at the farm. Right, we're going to go and pick up Brody and Lucas and then crank into the forestry and hopefully uh, let the dogs onto something that's half decent. We don't do that. Don't they jump out there with an accident? Now, I'll tell you what, the pig hunter. He's a different breed. At home, there's hungry mouths to feed. He'd rather get his tucker from the wild terrain than stand in a queue at back and save. He don't care much for keeping his trousers clean. And his pig dogs, they look mean and lean. He carries his kill home on his back. Invariably, the blood runs down into his crack. Oh, you filthy bastard, covered in dirt and mud. You smelly bugger, stinking of sweat and blood. You guys, yeah. Who's that, Pace? Is that Pace? Pace, get in the back. <laughs> Pace. Probably recognise you. Pace, get in the back. How you doing? Good, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. You fit farming? Yep. Fit for carrying a pig out? Yeah. Good, because I'm not. <laughs> How you going, Paddy? Good yeah, good, just going for a hunt. You? You're going to work, are you? Oh, I better let you go to work then. Good one, eh? You too, mate. Nice truck. See you later. So, Lucas is dead. Uh, Shannon there just dropped him off. Uh, Shannon was in a bad accident around Christmas time and a motorbike accident. He destroyed his leg. He can, can, he, he can walk just, can't he? Yeah. Yeah, um, and this is his son in the back. This is Lucas. Say good day to everybody, Lucas. Oh. We know you. We had you before, eh? Yeah. You're just hunting in your singlet today, mate? Yeah. Have you got some more clothes to wear yeah, than I've just got that? Some more clothes in my bag. Okay, buddy. All right, so Lucas hasn't been able to get out for a hunt. Have you been out for a hunt recently or is it not possible, Dad, being. Injured. Oh, not really, but we got one in our backyard the other day. Did you? In the backyard, yeah. that's pretty handy. Around by the motorbike track. Oh, cool. Yeah. Did you shoot it? Um, yeah. Didn't give it the dog? Nah, Jaden, my brother got it. Are you fit for hunting? Yeah. Alright, good. Mm. How's everything been going at school? Pretty good. It's holidays now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be enjoying that, wouldn't you? Yeah, but sadly we have to go back to school and so. <laughs> yeah, that's a reality, mate. Okay, we'll get on the road and see how we get on. Right, we're in uh, Oliver's Road, which is a pretty public place, just off the highway. We stopped and put collars on Poe and Bixie and Pace. Pace is just ramping to go. So are the boys, we're gonna get in the road a wee way. We watched our mate Jamie the Giant come out with a couple of good animals on the back of his truck. That'll do Pace, calm down.
You all right there, Lucas? Yeah. You okay, mate? <laughs> Bloody dog all over you. Post tail making a hell of a noise. Poisonous as hell, Poe. Boys down here last year, eh? Yeah. It's down there, eh? Where's the pig? Tom's keen, eh? Keen as that wind's coming straight up from the gully, too. It's a pig, Poe. Should have been for a long time. It's a beautiful place to get a pig. Whole big face there. Wind coming straight up at us. You know. I don't know if we're going to catch anything today, but boy, it's good to be out with these young fellas. Their enthusiasm is right up there. I'm so excited. And uh, just the promise of catching something. Now Lucas has got his own little GoPro, so he's making his own little videos. I've been showing him how to do that. Remember to do your running commentary when you're filming, Lucas. Remember to let the people know what you're seeing. When you're, when you're holding this thing up, buddy, you point it, you say, okay, we've got the wind going down this gully here, so the wind's going away from us, so the animals on that side there probably know we're here. Uh, we've got the sun coming up in the east. Tell them where we are if you don't want to, don't mind about giving you a location. That's all information when you're making a video is important, eh? Yeah. Because people want to know. A lot of people can't get out to hunt like your dad they're at home because they've got injuries, so you're actually doing the hunting for them. I don't think it really stops him, though. It doesn't stop him? <laughs> no, good on him. Right, eh? Well, we'll walk these dogs down this track. We know the wind is coming up this side, so we'll walk them down here. If they don't pick up scent, we'll come back to the truck. Right now, they're just running off a bit of uh, energy. Come on. We'll make our way just down this road here. The winds will come up the side. Poe's actually gone down here. There's a bit of old rooting over here by this log. She was having a sniff around it. See Pace and Bixie up ahead. This rooting doesn't look that fresh. Poe had a sniff around. Hmm. Some mushrooms growing here. Yeah, it's a good place for a pig to be. Plenty of feed in this gully. Yep, oh, we'll carry on down and see what we find. Pace having a bit of a sniff around, eh? Dogs just gone down here and there. Just peeled off the side here. You can hear them in the bush. And they come back out. And I'm just having a look. Old pig's been having a bit of a root around this here. This side's sort of fresh, this side's not, so it has had a bit of a nose. This gully down here be an awesome place to go for a pig. It's quite open. It's gorse. Wind's coming up. The boys down here and the dog's going up the side. Good dog pace. Pace come. Down here mate. Come on. Let's see what we're here boy. Come on. Let's see what we're doing here anyway. Pace in the slip around here. He gets around the hill fast. Bigsy back in. Where's the pig Bigsy? It's the remains of a pig. Not much left though. Oh, here's a big one. So, yeah. Boar, minus his jaw. Some filthy pig on his, uh, with his, his guts behind and his top and taking all the good stuff. We've got this entire gully to hunt. Wind coming from the southwest this way, so we're going to carry on down the gully with the boys. The boys just coming back now. Jump in the truck, fellas. Any fresh sign down there at all? No, no fresh sign where I was either. Jump home, we'll drive on down and we'll see how we go. But there's no, nothing been in there for a long time. There's a remains of a boar down that bank there. Someone's dropped off, but no actual, no fresh signs anywhere. Uh, last time I hunted down here, I took young Spencer down and he got his first pig.
absolute flying up here, so real keen. Pull it up. Yeah, I've got it here somewhere. This track. Oh, yep, right up in here. Yeah, this is where I got young Spencer onto his pig up in here one time. There goes Poe running up there now. She's going up quite fast. She's going up fast. That's a good sign. Yeah, we get a pig in this bit of native. So there's another hunter up there. It was his dogs. Probably the same pig. Bixie, up. Bixie, come. Face. Up. Get up. Up. Get up. Good dog. We can hear the hunter calling his dog up there. And uh, ours will treat on that. And then uh, he came from above. My dog smelt it down the bottom, but he's, I don't know if he's doing it or what's going on, but we're going to leave him to it. I don't want to have a dog fight with Big Z because Big Z's pretty headstrong when these other dogs around, and there's a pig. But they did see it, didn't they? they were yeah, they ran straight as fast up as they could. Yeah. No, we'll leave that man to his pig and his dogs, and we'll find another spot, lads. Get out of here. Our road's washed out here. If I had a second truck with me, I'd, uh, I'd chance it, but get the truck stuck up here. You could belly out on that there quite easy. It would get across, but uh, if it does belly out and I get in trouble and don't get up, we've got no one to tow us out, so I'll turn around. It's going to be a steep climb to go back to. In the meantime, we're going to get a drink of water out of the creek. It's a very uh, interesting colour. Looks like... Uh, Brown tea. Tastes fine. Mm. She's steep and slippery. Ooh. I'd say that's the hardest part, eh? Yeah. yeah she's Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. That was the hard bit there, eh? Yeah, we'll get Actually, piss bowled it. Yeah. It's more than I thought it was going to be. Did you find that hard? No, I, th I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Yes, yeah, But it actually piss bowled it. Whew. We'll take a run at this part here because it's clay. This is where it's the slippery stuff. Yeah, this is the slippery stuff, yeah. Yes, yeah, this is this. Hold on, lads. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold on to something yet. Got another one here too. I don't want to break a strut. I'm going to slow down a little bit here. I don't know, she's good. She's good. You okay? Yeah, it's fine. You hit the roof, did it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're just going to have a wee look up here because the wind's coming off this gully. We're over the second gully. Now we were over in that gully over there. Now we're on the other side. We'll let the dogs out. Take them for a walk just down here. And we'll see if they uh, get any scent. Okay, boys, remember don't slam your doors. Just jump out nice and quiet. You can let the dogs out, uh, Brody. Yep. There we go. Good boy. Let's have a sniff down here, eh? So it's been another dog around this morning. Poe's peeing on everything. Dog's just gone down here. Just doing a little circle, as you can see. Pace and Poe in, but Bigsy's is actually hunting out. He's done a little squiggle where everybody else is going. And now he's headed out to here. It's good hunting by Bigsy. Yeah. Bigsy's still chasing it down here. I'm just waiting to see. He's gone over here. Yeah. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bigsy, get away to it, mate. Good boy, Bigsy. Good boy, Bigsy. Good try. Yeah, Bigsy. Were, were there any marks on the track? Any pig marks at all? He ran when we some saw him. He was running flat out up that hill. Was he? Then, um, he just stopped. And yeah. then we just ran straight back down. He was running straight down this road. Was he? Okay. He'd been chasing something. He wasn't chasing nothing. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. Pig's been up and down here. For sure. Good pig, too. Good mark there. That's where he was coming from. Yeah, no, it's a good game trail here. This is where he's gone through, all right. Come right through. He's lost it, okay. Oh, that's uh. Well, it's not surprising because dogs aren't fit, but they'll get fit. Yeah. Good boy, Bigsy. 
Right, we'll put them in the back of the truck. Close your door, please, mate. Otherwise, dogs will jump up in the truck. Oh, it's so hot. Come on. Come on. Up again, Poe. Poe, Poe. Poe, up, up. Good girl. Get in, Poe. Get in. In your box. Yeah, that's why I said to Brody, shut it. Up, come on. How you doing? Good. Got okay? How yeah. you doing? Good. So we've got dogs down in front of us now. We've got Pao in the back of the truck. Bixie's a bit tired after his last run. We'll see what we go. He ran like a K. Yeah, he ran a long way. Yeah. He ran more than a K. It's a K two ways. So we're just gonna uh, put him down the scale and see if we have any joy. I have actually caught pigs down here before. There's actually what? goats down here, believe it or not, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few goats down here. We don't want to catch a goat, but there are goats down here. Yeah. We've just seen a bit of goat sign, and deer sign, and pig sign. So there's goats, pigs, and deer down here. Hey, for all of you men that are a little bit older, uh, one thing that's really, really important when you're taking young fellas out that I have found over the last, well it's been over 20 years, closer to 30, I've been taking young fellas hunting. It's really important always to empower them, to make them believe that they can do more than they think they can believe, because a lot of young fellas are trying to act like they're mean, but they're not, because they haven't obviously got the skills, and they will do stuff to pump themselves up, but it's actually good for you as a mature man to pump them up and say, hey, you got this mate. I'm going to put you down the scully here and uh, you're strong enough to handle this and don't put them outside of their capabilities and, and danger and always be close by if they do get into danger where you can help them but see I've got the boys in front of me now just a little bit and it just gives them a feeling of confidence, self esteem the bush is a great place to build up your confidence and your self esteem it's also a good place to forget about everything and just get out and do some shit that's uh, healthy so that's my tip if you are going to take young guys out always treat the young guys with respect and build them up and don't show your anger if the dogs do something stupid or it goes wrong uh, it's really important that they have a good experience because they're just like training puppies you know you want some people experience anyway the dogs have gone down this here and they've peeled off down the side so we'll see what's going to come out of that they could easily be a pig down this gully the day's starting to warm up too it's probably about 16 degrees i wouldn't want any hotter stick knife made by Crispy. Crispy's Kiwi Adventures. Check his YouTube channel out. He's a bloody good knife maker. I haven't blooded it yet. Sharp. You could do with a bit of a touch up actually. Not too sharp. Still a little sticker pig. Right now it's going to cut up some dog tucker for the dogs. And I don't do it that way. You run your blade back and forth, do it straight so you get a nice straight rail well. That's the one, that's the board, and that's half, halfway, yep, get a nice straight one, yeah, that's the one, good stuff, I'll take the first off, and uh, this is one way to get bigs in his dog box, <laughs> he's already trying to get up, he fell off oh, over, so what have we got there, let's have a look, we'll get Poe the smallest, okay, let's get this knife so it's safe, out of the way, don't get none up, none up, wait there, wait there, they have a command for their boot, we'll open them up, okay, Big Z up. Okay, post. There you go, Pose. Get up. Get up, Pose. Get up, Pose. Good boy. Get up. Pose, take out. Good boy. Good, good, Pose. Nice place to stop for a bit of lunch. So the temperature now is about 18 degrees. Don't hunt my dogs and anything, anything over 16 degrees, don't hunt them, so we'll have a couple of hours having some lunch. Poe, get out of there. What's that dog, mate? Poe, leave it, not for you. And uh, after we have some lunch, we might have a sniff around, do a bit more hunting later on. I'll Poe getting some crumbs there, look at her. Bloody chance there. Not for you, Poe. What's your lunch there, young fella? What you got? Some popcorn treats. 
some sandwiches with some eggs and all that. Okay, I've got a bean salad with uh, brown rice and some veggies. Jelly fungus. Edible. Looks dead wood. <laughs> it's steamy. Yeah, it looks like it's steaming, doesn't it? Yeah. Hard case, eh? Hey, hot? Yeah, real hot. Nah, it's the steam coming off from the, the sun, which basically says it's too hot for hunting. Well, it's probably the only food we're going to take out of the forest today. Nice in a soup. Brandon's bloke, you got a nice pig. Ran to a whole lot of uh, fellow pig hunters in the forestry. Start yakking, telling tall stories. Anyway, um, one bloke there, uh, Alistair, Alistair Bell, I ran into him probably 10 years ago. He's uh, 30, 70, 69. Still out there doing it. That's the bloke that caught that pig. And Westy, uh, Chris Westy's caught a lot of pigs up here. Got bloody good, really good dogs. A lot better than our uh, wool munchers. <laughs> Uh, I reckon we're going to sniff around Long Gully, boys. What do you reckon? Yep. Yep, because that's what we're going to in the truck. We'll let him out first. Where'd he go? Let's see, he can, he can go out. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Up off. What's that? There's a wasp in the back. Oh, is there a wasp in here? Oh, and he can go too. Look him out, Lucas. Yeah, there we go. He's gone. Right, well, you guys all good? Yeah. Time is quarter to two. Uh, we're doing this really cool gully. I'll show you where we are. Just down here. The pace is just hit a look down the side here. Let's go down the side here. They're big pines. So it's quite open. Have a look at your GPS lads and see how far he's gone down there. This could be quite hopefully he's just shot on down in this gully. Got your knife? Yep. Place caught it by himself. You still got it? Yeah. Pace caught that by himself, that pig. Still got it. Didn't what? sound like a very big pig, eh? No, it's kind of like a little one. Yeah. Come here, Pace. Pace, come. Come here, boy. Good dog. Yeah, no, he's killed it. Yep. No, it wasn't a big pig. It wasn't a big pig. They sound like about a 20 pounder. He killed it down this gully here. Yeah, it's pig blood. In the truck, boys, we'll carry on. He's okay. We just saw a little pig down here. Dogs missed it. It's the wee one. Pace has got it. Pace has got it. They'll get it. Get ready to run out, boys. Go for a run. Pace will get that. It's only a wee pig. Go, go, go. They'll get it. I'll catch it. It's only a wee one. Don't slam your doors. Run. I'm trying to teach them not to slam doors. Get ready boys, they'll catch it. So we pig down here. Get your GoPro ready, son. No, he's already spun, he's fine. I just use one spun as soon as... I've got it right here. Listen, they'll catch it. Get ready to run. Oh, go, go, run, 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 run. Oh, just a little baby pig. Was Poe even holding it? Nah, no, no, Poe wasn't interested. Pace wasn't interested. Bigsy caught that. Take the guts out with your knife, mate. You can still eat it. It's a wee suckling pig. You got it up here. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> it was actually pretty fun, wasn't it? So what are you going to do with this fella? Tell us what you can well, do. I'll put it on the spit when I get home. Yep, okay. Well, not exactly when I get home, but... Yep. Yeah, around about then. And also just because I was bored, I buried the pig's head and I'm going to try and get it like skull and stuff. Alright Clay, we just put it on the spit now. I'll give you an update when we finish. Well Clay, we've started cooking it already. And so far it's looking pretty bloody good. I don't know if you can show that, it's sheesh. Go please mate. Mm. 
Well, we'd like to keep hunting, but the dogs are buggered, and I think these fellas are too. They're starting to slow down a bit. <laughs> Chewing on stuff. So we'll call it a quits and I'll head on out of the bush. Trail Barker, hey. Good job on the hill today, mate. Yeah, thank you. Grab your pig. <laughs> so Dad's coming to pick him up. So what he's going to do is he's going to put that pig on a spit and he's going to cook it, he's going to send me a photo. Oh, he does. He loves yeah. putting on the spit, don't you, mate? That's great. Well, he's got the right... Uh, Right, moral about taking everything out of the bush, you know. Yeah. yeah. Better eating anyway, those little ones. Oh, they're good. They like to take oh, a fried you chicken. Get a feed out of a chicken, mate. You can get a feed out of a little piglet. Right? Yeah, well, you're not going to leave the bush. Oh, you forgot the GoPro. It's supposed to be the idiot chick. <laughs> okay, mate. Good stuff. <laughs>